Well, hello, how are you? I'm Sally Jacks, TV mom, um, coming from, I was going to say live, because because I'm used to working in live television, coming live, but it's not, it's not coming live, because you're going to see this afterwards, but basically, if I think about it, I'm live right now, <laughs> but I won't be when I put this out to you, but basically coming from my caravan, you're going to see plenty of other vlogs um, coming from here, uh, from now on, because of course, because of COVID, I now live in my caravan, if you've not seen it, it's the first caravan I've ever bought, basically ever been in apart from being six year old um so i know well i was going to say i know very little about caravans but i've had to learn very very quickly and i know a lot of you have been asking to have a look around and i will show you as you can see i still have no curtains as yet but they are being made by a very good friend of mine uh sarah and hopefully they're going to be made in uh the next um few weeks or so so uh, what's this vlog going to be all about? This vlog is going to be about a problem that we're all, um, that's occurring right now. And that is the problem of, um, it's mandatory to wear a mask and, and it's these things. And we're wearing masks because of love and respect. Now I've got a really good one, which is also called Breed Happy, which I'll leave a link if we, if they've still got stock of it. But of course we've got these everyday throwaway ones. We've also got material ones. I've got this really cool one that's a bit glittery, but I can hardly breathe in it. Uh, but there's lots of different masks but the problem that comes with masks now is what we're finding and a big beauty house has actually called and nicknamed this maskne so what is maskne maskne is masks and acne so we're finding that because we're having to wear these masks a lot uh, we're now suffering with more acne than we've ever done before and it tends to be around the nose area and around this area where your mask is and there's a couple of reasons for that and I'm going to go through it but I'm also going to give you tips and tricks of how you can try and stop the acne from appearing uh, now obviously not everything's going to get rid of everything because everybody's unique and individual but there's a few tips that you can follow so first of all, number one, it's really important that you drink a lot of water. Now I've done a whole vlog on this anyway without masks, knowing how great water is. Also, if you're suffering with any mental health problems at the moment, I'm not saying it's going to cure them, but water, drinking plenty of water, making sure you get your two to three water, uh, liters a day can actually make a difference on your mental health. So it's really important that you drink your water and that also clears your skin. So not your Coke, not not your coffees, not your teas, it's your water, so pure water, and that's what you need to do. Right. Everybody's got bacteria in their mouth, so of course when you're breathing into that mask, it's hitting back on your skin, so it's really, really important that your skin is always clean. So if you're in a job where you're having, like my job, my mask is on and off all day, but if you're in a job, but I've noticed that I have got breakouts on my skin, now if you're in a job where you're having to wear your mask constantly, and that's either if you're working is expecting it or you work in a shop etc or you're in an office a close space where or you're in a car journey with somebody and you're having to wear it an awful lot then the other thing is your skin must be cleansed so what a really good idea is is that you take maybe a little cleansing pot around with you during the day with some cotton wool pads and you cleanse your skin on a regular basis so when you're taking your your, your mask off make sure you're cleansing but the other important thing is to take a few of these out so when you're going out and about obviously the disposable masks they're saying actually should be swapped over within three to four hours and then obviously material masks they're telling you that they should be washed every single day if they're reusable however if you're wearing them for the full day then one mask isn't enough one mask of this isn't enough so you need to get yourself a little collection that you'll cycle through during the day and that should stop stop or put a maybe slow down on that acne or that maskne that might be occurring with your skin now because of the bacteria from your breath because of the droplets from your nose and that's the way that's why we're wearing them they are eventually getting breathed back in onto our skin so what's a really good idea is that you drink water you change your mask frequently you wash wash your mask if you're wearing it for a couple of hours a day it is imperative that you wash that every single day even if you just put it on for five minutes you still 
need to wash your mask every day. If it's one of these, then it needs to be thrown away. And what they're asking as well is that you actually cut off these straps because these are interfering with wildlife now. So that's another tip. Also, if you are using a cleanser on a regular basis, then it's really good that it has hyaluronic acid in it. Hyaluronic acid basically brings moisture back into the skin and it, uh, it, and it basically um, locks it into the skin. And it's really, really important. So hyaluronic acid is not what you think. It's not it, immediately you think, oh, acid, it's not going to be good for me, but it's actually a natural product. But what happens is also with the friction of these against the skin, it can actually dry the skin out and cause irritation. Where it, So if you've got dry skin, you also, as well as oily skin, you're likely to get the acne. So with that dry skin, if you put the hyal hyaluronic acid on your skin, it's going to lock back in that moisture. The other tip as well is to make sure, and this is very, very difficult for women, is to try and keep makeup free. The more makeup you put on your, put on your skin, the more blockage that you're causing. And then of course, if you've got the mask on and you're sweating, the more problematic area that you're going to have around here so it's better to keep you basically makeup free so makeup free make sure you're cleansing make sure you're drinking plenty of water and if you are cleansing make sure it's the hyaluronic acid that you're putting on your skin therefore you're putting the moisture back in if your mask is really irritating then it's quite a good idea to maybe put something on that's a little bit more soothing from the skin so one of the best things that you can get is either Tricillum by Elizabeth Grant and I can leave you a link below or if you're used to the um, Elizabeth Arden 8 hour protection cream although that can be a little bit more greasy whereas the Tricillum gets to work and gets hopefully here that skin so there's lots of different things that you can do and it's really 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 important that we keep up with those but the most important if I just go through that again is cleansing so washing on a regular basis even during the day not wearing your makeup drinking plenty of water using hyaluronic acid and making sure that you're moisturizing that skin um, to stop that irritation and washing and changing your masks on a regular basis I'm hoping that's going to help you because mask knee is becoming a problem um, dermatologists have seen more problematic skin over the last sort of uh, three to four months with acne than they have done in a long time so it is rising so it's really important that we keep on top of it you keep on top of all those tips and tricks and it could really help your skin going forward because if you are wearing them on a regular basis then mm, unfortunately for a majority of us, we are going to start getting problems. So I hope that's helped. Thank you very much for watching. It's always great to have you on board. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. Love you lots as always. And I'll see you later. Bye.